Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining us today on my afternoon boba or afternoon tea and coffee series. Drink whatever you can and enjoy. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for joining to my channel. Um, this is where we talk about all things related to women's empowerment, whether that's balancing work um, and also other future disadvantaged communities as well. Uh, this is kind of a wide open space of topics that I can talk about, but we'll narrow down and niche down as like people start watching certain videos more versus others and really trying to help um, empower more women essentially is my goal. So whatever that is, whatever that means, that will be what I'm doing. Um, so it'll be based on stats, it'll be based on what people share and what they'd like to hear. So please feel free to write any comments, email me at julietaiko at gmail.com. Um, but today we're going to be talking about career because that's something I've been personally focused on right now. Um, and I've noticed that uh, many people have different philosophies on this. And so when I was studying my women's uh, when I was studying women's empowerment and women's entrepreneurship on, for my master's degree in economics in Japan, I learned that actually women tend to own, tend to not apply to jobs even if they are at 100% of all of the qualifications. They want to be at like 110%. Um, versus men tend to apply when they're about 50 to 60% there based on like some of the role requirements and things that the company is looking for. Um, and you know, there's caveats to this, like larger companies, all of the FANG ones tend to have millions of applicants like Salesforce, Facebook, Google, whatever. Um, so they tend to find people that are very niche and have like the exact requirements that they want. But that's not true for startups. Um, they're usually looking for more open-minded people who are have a lot more potential and they generally hire on potential versus achievements. Um, although that can be, uh, it depends on the company, of course, it depends on the, but anyways, long story short, just apply, forget it. Like, don't even worry if you fit only one qualification, it doesn't matter. Just apply, get your name out there. They might not call you back. They might send you a rejection email immediately, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just apply. <laughs> the other caveat to that too, is having a really good resume, having something that, um, well, a lot of recruiters use uh, screening software programs now. So you actually have, a, have to have a resume format that uh, is very simple, clear, and readable by robots. And so I can share mine in the link below um, in the description box area. And you can have that as one example. I wouldn't use that as like, you know, the perfect example. There's no such thing. The technology changes all the time. And so you have to stay relevant and learn as much as you possibly can about how to uh, present yourself in the best way possible. But that is one, having a very good, clear resume um, that robots can read well. <laughs> so there's a certain format. I used to have this beautiful creative resume that was so pretty to look at, but it did not work with, with robots. So I cut it, got rid of it. Now I just have a very boring, straight-laced resume. The other thing is the resume should match exactly what the LinkedIn says. So I have a lot of different skills um, and uh, references on my LinkedIn. Um, and just everything that's on my resume is on my LinkedIn as well. So there's that mirroring capability and um, yeah, a lot of people actually find you through LinkedIn as well. So that's very helpful. I'm currently applying for like product marketing roles, I'm looking for more senior, but I'm also going to start applying for director roles because like I said, you have to shoot higher, you have to keep going. Um, I do have about 10 years of experience and it seems that like I've been sort of stepping on myself um, with these interviews recently, actually, because I've been applying for lower jobs than I could uh, get and that I know that I have the potential for. So I'm starting to do that starting today, tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm really excited for this process and really hope that I can help you through your process of navigating this career track. So two recommendations, one, well, three, I guess. One is updating your resume so that robots can read it. The second thing is matching the LinkedIn um, or AI technology can read it. The second thing is matching the LinkedIn to match and mirror the resume exactly and having even more like some references on there, um, have asking colleagues, asking ex-mentors, um, ex-bosses to write a little referral for you. You can actually write it on their behalf too so it helps them so you don't have to think creatively and do it all themselves. So I have quite a lot actually. Um, so that's been incredibly helpful. The third thing is um, just applying for the job regardless, even if you don't qualify, even if you only have one thing, that, like, just apply, like don't even bother. Another strategy that I just learned recently from some really young folks who are doing absolutely amazing things is they apply for uh, posted, so within LinkedIn job search filters, they do for anything that's been posted in the last 24 hours. Uh, fully remote is also something that they're looking for and the job title that they're looking for 
um, and easy apply. So actually with those four general criteria, they just apply to a bunch of different companies and then they get interviews. So, um, you know, there's multiple ways and multiple strategies to address your career history, but I've, I've noticed that women tend to be more um, like slower, right? Because they want to be perfectionists. They want to be perfect with the resume, perfect with the you know portfolio if they create one, perfect with the networking, perfect with the job interviews. But really, that's not the, in my personal opinion, not the best way to go. You kind of just have to go <laughs> and you have to run while, you know, while learning to crawl at the same time, you just gotta run, right? So um, I definitely have a bias for action. And I think that's been really helpful. It has also hurt me. I've always obviously like also gotten rejected quite a lot, um, but I I've gotten way more interviews and all you really need is one company to say yes to you. So ultimately that is the most important thing. So don't worry about any of the rejections, just like who cares, right? We're all rejected at a lot of different things. This is like maybe even dating or, you know, just, job hunting is just part of life, right? Don't take it personally, um, especially when these are large corporations, even if they're small companies with only six people, like it just wasn't meant for you, no big deal, right? Don't let it affect you. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So um, that's my other piece of advice, the fourth and fifth uh, tips. Um, yeah, just because I'm going through this right now, it can be really depressing if you are, um, put too much emotion behind any of the jobs that you're looking for like ultimately you will definitely get one as long as you're positive ha hopeful energetic right um, and you keep applying that is the most important thing keep applying with your resume you know a lot of people have assumptions and biases that you can't no matter what you do you will never like change that so you just have to keep applying keep applying keep applying please <laughs> I can't stress that enough it's so important yeah just don't give up and keep applying don't give up keep applying just don't listen to the haters or, or people who reject you haters is more for online stuff like online social media um but yeah those are my general tips of wisdom so hopefully this was helpful and i really hope uh, i can help you in your job search again i'll put the my current resume in the link in the description below and please subscribe thank you so much for watching really appreciate it and if there's anything else i can help with let me know thank you bye